Hello, my beautifuls, for the sun on Gemini. This is gonna be your reading. Let's go ahead and get started with the first couple cards. We have a new romantic um, cycle begins. You have meditate and contemplate. And uh, let's see what else. Let me see. Okay. Um, a judgment are required what yes 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 this is what is coming for you my gemini it is on a judgment that are going to be required it's a new romantic cycle that is coming towards you and they are asking you to meditate and contemplate look at the energy of things okay let's see what else is um we are going to be able to see in this reading let's see what else Okay, let's see this card. You have the angel Chanti. The angel Sonia. Oh, let's see what else. Oh, I have a hard time getting the cards. And Teresa. Let's see what they want to tell us. Or what is the message for my Gemini's? Okay, don't forget this is a general reading. So take what it resonates, leave what it doesn't. And don't forget to give it a like, comment, and subscribe for you can participate on the on the um on the giveaway of a tarot deck. It's not gonna be this one because I'm just giving away this one today or or probably by the time that I release this video, I probably already give it away. So you have the angel Chanti and the angel, uh, the message from them is it. I am the angel of peace. I bring a new tranquility and a smoother roads ahead. This is amazing because you got the meditate and contemplate. So the energy is being the same, you know, stay in peace, bring tranquility. Things are going to become a smoother ahead. Okay. Uh, I bring you a message from the disease um loved ones i am happy at peace and i love you very much please don't worry about me so if you have someone that they passed away this car is just coming constantly in my readings the ones that i've been doing but uh, my dad um his birthday is gonna be on july 30th 31st i believe and um and my dad, he passed away like 10 years ago. So I think this car is more for me, okay? Every time that I pull this car, I just remember I had those memories about my dad. Time out. You have been so busy taking care of everyone else needs. But now it is time to stop and take care of yourself. Yes, 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 my lovelies. My lovely Gemini's. This is the time to take care of yourself. It is peace coming towards you. It is new thing. It's tranquility. It's an energy of meditation. It's an energy of bringing good things towards you, my Gemini. I can I hardly can wait to see what the cards is going, wants to tell us about what is coming towards you, my beautiful. I bet it's a lot of good things coming towards my Gemini. Let's see what they say. Let's see what is coming towards my Gemini. Okay, let's see. You have the wedding, the wedding car. Okay, this situation is bold. Uh, wedding. You got the honeymoon. Oh my God. And don't tell me that you got the engagement too. Give me just a minute. A car fell on the floor. And that's the car that is supposed to come. Uh, flirt, uh, extend, extend your light heart energy to others. My beautiful Gemini's, what is coming towards you is the energy of a relationship getting in a new level. I hardly can wait to see the tarot cards that are coming towards you, my Gemini. It seems like it's going to be really good. It is a lot of good things coming towards you. We start with the energy of meditation. A new romantic cycle begins for you. Also, the energy of the wedding, the honeymoon, and flirting. So, we'll see what else is coming towards my Gemini's, okay? Uh, energy is for the sign of Gemini. <clears throat> Please don't forget my readings are timeless. And stay towards the end because I do an interactive reading. Well, I answered three of your questions in the end of this video. And my Gemini, what a way to start a reading. What a way to start the reading. You start with the eight of wands, then the star card, 
uh, the eight of um, the eight of cups. Oh my goodness! And he's telling me the story already. He's telling me a love story. Don't forget if the reading doesn't resonate right now, you can come back in another reading, another time, in another day, and it may resonate with you at that time. And you can also check your lunar uh, sign for see what are the energies in that sign, okay? So, um, <clears throat> beautiful, 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 beautiful. Let, again, the energies of keeping things in balance. Getting the balance that you need, my Gemini. I don't know. If uh, you feel like you are unbalanced, the situations are unbalanced right now, but it's definitely the energy of meditate, contemplate, keeping things in balance, new tranquility coming towards you, and smoother roads ahead of you. And let's go ahead and get started, okay? Okay, this is beautiful. The first card that you have is the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is about communication. It's about someone communicating with you, sending you a text message, um, WhatsApp message, uh, giving you a call. It is all about communication, you know, just t sending you that email, that, that special something that you've been waiting for, okay? Um, it also represents a situation moving forward because when you see the ones, you see that like it's just going, you know, it's going towards some place, you know, uh, and it looks like it's just a fast moving energy. Yes, it is a fast moving energy in this reading. Okay, things happening faster than what you was expecting, and the world card is all about a new new beginnings like in something it's like when you just go around the circle you know and it's like a new cycle coming towards you so it is a new cycle coming towards you <clears throat> i see communication here i don't see any cards that talk about it can be a love from the past i don't see any of that i see things that you've been manifesting and you have hope to bring in your life they are finally manifesting and coming to your life I see a relationship or a person that you left behind that it, that person give your back on you or you give your back in that person and you left it behind. It was something missing in that relationship. It was something missing that you just decided, you know what, it, it doesn't work. We're going to leave it behind. This person, this person is doing everything they can for they cannot communicate. They, they're just trying to be a strong for don't communicate with you and don't show their feelings towards you. I see an energy that this this situation is really affecting you and it's just it just you just feeling like you have way too many burdens right now. You have way too much in your it's like a too much um too much in your plate, too much uh, weight in your shoulders. I don't know why you feel that way. It may be because of the. Uh, of a love situation and maybe a money situation that you just feel the things are not in the way you wanted it to be. This person is coming and is coming with a serious proposal. They want to take things to the next level, but it's a serious thing. It's not, this person is not playing games. It is finally coming and this person is not playing games. It is this person wants something serious, okay? And it's going to require for you to take a leap of faith in this new relationship, in this new in this new relationship that is coming towards you. For some of you, it's going to be someone that you know, and for some of you, it's going to be someone new, okay? It depends. You know, it's a, this is a general reading, so for some of you, it's going to be someone new, and for some of you, it's going to be someone from your past, it is the need of balance, again, that is showing you in this reading. It, being, it, it came in the beginning with the, with the need of balance and meditation. And then talking about uh, going in tra um, new tranquility, a smoother roads ahead. I think in this time, my Gemini's for the majority of you, is going to be an energy of... Um, of you guys want to meditate, you guys want to pray about things, you guys want to um, maybe, you know, like do this that you guys are reading, doing right now, trying to go like tarot reading, going to go to things that I can 
um like exoteric and things they are like um different like spiritual things meditations and things like that it's an energy of you going towards those things and meditation a lot of praying a lot of things and that i would recommend you to do it too if you are not doing it it's the energy that you're gonna go towards those things but if you are not doing i would recommend you to meditate to pray it is the best time to pray for everybody that is around like 3 a.m through like 5 a.m that's the best time for anybody to pray because that's the time that everything is quiet okay and i would recommend you strongly that you meditate um pray if you can at those times will be the best okay it's the energy of you waiting for things to happen you know and the meditation and tranquility with the nine of cups good things coming towards you feeling fulfilled and of course the energy of the world or new cycle coming for some of you it is a wedding so some of you is literally a wedding okay um it is the energy of this person getting things formalized and getting things um wanted to formalize the relationship wanted to know and tell you how they feel so for some of you it's the energy of the wedding of course it's not gonna happen uh, right away and remember you know getting married is a choice for everybody else. You choose what you want to do, okay? You might, you maybe want to live with this person and not get married to that person. Or you may want to live together. Or you may want to just have a serious relationship. So it's going to be your choice. But the energy is there for a formal relationship, for a relationship that gets formalized. And it's going to be your choice what you want to do, my Gemini. Yeah, the hermit. Someone looking within themselves for the answer. Someone looking within themselves for what they really want to do. And what they want to do is communicate with you. They want to tell you how they feel. They want to let you know, yes, you get clarity. You've been just looking for this clarity. You've just been looking for know what is going on. You've just been looking, look, this relationship that you left behind, it can be a third party situation that you didn't like it or a person just maybe wearing a, a false mask. That you was just like i'm tired of this situation i'm tired for this person you are the ten of the ten of pentacles for them they see you as their ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles is all about like you know when you do like a regular reading it's about um wealth money being transferred from generations if you see you know they have you have the little pony you have the little pony that is just like a small horse and then you have like the oldest horses and all that because that generations of wealth transfer over, you know, over time. In a love reading, it is a person they want to, they have a lot of similarities, you know, person they have a lot of similarities with you. And they want to have a relationship that is like long term, a relationship that lasts, you know, a lifetime. Protecting your heart, my Gemini. You are trying to protect your heart. You got hurt before and you just don't want to be hurt again. Yes, get in a call, get in a call. It, the, again, it's the energy of getting married. Yes, it is a proposal coming towards you, my Geminis. Yes, 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 yes. And you're going to feel like you just want to sleep on it. You're just like, oh, I, I think things are happening too fast. I want to wait a little bit and see how I feel about them later. Uh, but things are coming fast. Things are coming the way they are coming. They are asking you to keep your balance. Make sure that you save some money, my Geminites. If you don't have money safe, try to start saving money. Because the energy of balance is all about, you know, having enough, having your life balanced, you know, in all the aspects. In the love life, in the money uh life everything everything being balanced and for some of you this person is going to be a person from the past they have the six of cups now i have the six of cups i didn't have any energy from the past until now so for some of you this person is someone from the past and if it's this person from the past please do not do anything everything is going to come towards you do not call him do not pursue him do not do any of that just let him to come let him come towards you okay um and here is the energy of the high priest 
a really huge attraction. A relationship really self-solid charted and it is a big attraction, you know, it is a big attraction in this relationship. It is it is big. It is a huge attraction between both of you. Or oh, it's gonna be a huge attraction because for some of you it's gonna be something that is gonna be happening in the future, okay? For some of you it's something that is gonna be happening near to the present really soon. <clears throat> okay, let's see what the um island um a time of wellness want to tell us. Let's see what is coming towards you. You have the card of the separation, okay? Sadness, missing, missing you. Thinking about you. This person is thinking about you, okay? Unsure about the future. Or you are thinking about that, that person and you're missing that person. The dragon on fly. Be lighthearted. Find out. Things coming to the light. Adapt, change, and heal. Cassette. Outdated thinking, conditions, replay, event over in the, your head. Yes. And this person is going to be over their head for a while before they come towards you. Uh, or they've been already over their head for a while, you know, thinking about the situation, thinking about how they can approach you, thinking about how they're going to talk to you about the situation. they just been thinking, 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 thinking. They need to get out of their head, okay, and they start acting. Hopefully, they're going to start acting really soon because you have some cards of movement, okay? Things moving, okay? Um, okay, my lovely Gemini. This is the time that I answered three of your questions, okay? And um, let me see if I can just get what card. Okay, let me get this one. And if you have a question, please make sure just follow it. Focus your energy on the tarot deck. Focus your energy on the question. You, can, you are welcome to stop the video if you want. If you want to stop the video, you are welcome to do. Stop the video, think about the energy, and let's go ahead and get started with the cards. Okay, card number one or question number one. Card number two or question number two. Card number three or question number three. Take your time for you can decide which one do you want. Uh, focus on your question. Stop the video if you need to, and we start with card number one. I hope that I, okay. It is a yes, okay, and it's coming from God. <clears throat> okay, it is a maybe. The handman, uh, maybe more towards yes. The handman is everything about a change of perspective and your life and then the things that you think. This is a change, you know. The moon card, it is a maybe too, okay, more towards no, because moon is about things that are hiding. Things that are hiding, things that we cannot see. It's about uh, also someone expressing what they feel and talking and saying things that they want to say. Okay, my lovely for the sign of Gemini. You guys take care. I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.